Yes, Erwin's amazing speech. Can I watch the opening yet? <laughs> Still haven't seen it. Would love to watch it one of these days. Female Titan? That's gotta be Mikasa. 57th Expedition Beyond the Walls. Part 1? Hell yeah. New arc. Damn, this is so crazy. Back to where it all began. Oh, it's a big boy. Well, this escalated quickly. Damn, they look so cool. With their horses and their capes and their terrified facial expressions. Except for Levi, who always looks dead inside. Believe in them. He keeps doing this. Stop talking while riding. Although I'm thrilled to get into this action, I think it would have been cool to see the Survey Corps training. I'll bet it's extra intense in its way than normal training. What I'm assuming is that the cadets that we saw graduate are now way better. Like, they've gotten way better in this past month. But who knows? Doesn't mean they won't die. Here we go, into the world. Good luck. Good advice. <laughs> this is so dramatic, I love it. Smart. That's really cool. This is one of the most exciting episode intros I've seen so far. Like, right into the action. Great music, and then it's giving us useful information, but it's not breaking the flow. We're learning on the move. It's a really cool scene. Come on, Armin, you can do it. Do they carry extra horses because of casualties? Horse casualties? Yeah. As scary as the Titans are, there's like an added fear of just like being out in the wild. It's totally different. Nice, that's how they communicate. Then you can steer him away. Cool. I feel like I'm going to be saying cool a lot this episode. <laughs> Whoops. Why'd it have to be Sasha? Oh no, Butterfingers! Should have thought of it as a potato. Then you never would have dropped it. Blood armor! Blood armor activate, please! <laughs> nice. Well, thank you for saving Sasha. Welcome to the outdoors. Yeah, there's the abnormal ones too, right? Is that what that means? An aberrant. A aberrant? I don't know what that word is. I was about to say, yeah, they don't have as much ability to, like, fly around. Damn, that's so noble. I like that. I like how they care about the new guys. Nice, looking pretty badass. Oh yeah, this squad just gets cooler and cooler. I'm a little bit worried about Armin's face right now because he's too happy for this show, and when you're happy, bad things happen. Anyway, my hunch for a long time about the Survey Corps was that they have to be tight-knit and they have to care about each other. But it's especially cool because you could imagine it easily being totally the opposite, where they don't give a crap about new people because they're gonna die. But I get a very strong sense about the culture of the Survey Corps. I know I've been saying corpse and it's core. I'm, I'm going with it. It's gonna be corpse from here on out. It's always gonna be corpse. I might change it to the Survey Corpses, depending on how things go. Stop being happy. Stop being happy. Oh, that's the bald guy. I love this guy. I shouldn't get attached. I shouldn't get attached. Oh no. Oh no. This is what you get for being happy. Oh, that's a female titan. She has boobs. Oh! This is what you get for being happy, Armin. Damn it, I feel so bad for Shallot. Oh no! The horse. Plot armor! Come on, plot armor! Mid-roll cliffhanger. This is a poorly timed card. Not only because of the cliffhanger, but also because it talks about increasing survival rates right after that scene. This episode is so insane. It's such an adrenaline rush. <laughs> the 
That's gotta be Mikasa, right? I can't understand why, though. And also, she should be with them, no? That was some tenderness for Armin. But why, though? I'm so... confused. It was checking on him. Alright, so since I watched the last couple episodes, I've been thinking about the show a lot. And certain comments by characters like Erwin recently have made me think that actually there's like a big evil. There's a big evil within the walls. And the Titans are actually a method for the protagonists at some point, I don't know if it's like a different time or like a different dimension or something like that, to defeat the evil. We know that Eren's a Titan and I'm pretty sure this is Mikasa, right? And it's not a coincidence, it's not an accident, and they are the protagonists. So it leads me to believe that actually ultimately they're going to reverse their thinking on what the objectives are and they're going to create titans or something like that to actually remove the actual threat it's a very vague idea for me and i don't really know to what extent that's true or what that means or what it even looks like but it's things like erwin saying do you know who the real enemy is and things like that i feel like there's some kind of loop involved there's some kind of ongoing struggle and we're only seeing like one point in that circle and so we're judging the whole thing based on what that point looks like but there's obviously so much that we don't know it's such a bigger picture it's such a bigger story. That's as far as I've gotten, and please don't tell me how right or wrong I am. This is just me, like, putting this here for later. And that's why they keep extra horses. They're following it? The nice ass. Yeah. It's almost like they were ready for this. That's very intelligent. This one showed me a moment of tenderness. Don't make me watch it twice. True. True. Oh, they're obfuscating his purpose. They got special plans. So brave. Yeah, we talked the talk, now he's walking the walk. He's changed a lot. That's because he has really great potential. Smart. She's looking for someone. That's so nice. I'm glad to see someone have confidence in Armin. <laughs> Marco's legacy lives on in the form of backhanded compliments. I feel deeply ashamed because after that comment about her having a nice ass, I, I just like caught myself looking at that for a while. He's not wrong. It's just not really appealing because it's on this like sinewy creature. Giant sinewy creature. <laughs> yeah, especially out in this field. And knows what you're doing. R.I.P. that horse. It seems like she's trying not to kill them. She's just trying to incapacitate them. She could have easily killed Armin. Well, right here too, obviously, for the third time. It covered its neck. Genius. Cut the rope, cut the rope. Oh, he's really injured. Something about what Armin said gave her pause. She's... Oh no! Was that Reiner? No, 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 he's still alive. Reiner! Oh 
What? How did he do that? They got me so bad. Oh, no, they're on foot. Look at him carrying Armin. She's not scared. She has a she has a goal. Yeah, she's looking for Aaron, probably. That's it? That episode was like 30 seconds long. What the hell? Damn, that was fun. It's such an amazing touch having the Titan, the new Titan, have the same powers as Eren because we've only seen that through him so far. We've only seen like that kind of intelligence on our side. So now to have it on the other side is terrifying. I really thought Reiner was dead. I'm still not quite sure how he survived. It definitely looked like he got smushed, but I guess he cut through the hand. But uh, Shallot's owner, not so lucky. I was just starting to like him. And no Eren this episode. No Eren, no Erwin, no Levi. Now that I think about it, I think that's a great way to introduce this new thing, this new female Titan. Because John John and Armin and Reiner are all characters that we like and they're cool, but they're not characters we've seen be super capable yet. So they feel more vulnerable. I think to have put the Titan with Levi and Eren and Erwin wouldn't have been as terrifying. This episode gave me a strong feeling of isolation because the soldiers got picked off one by one as if they were Australian guards in Jurassic Park. All the buildup leading to this expedition was totally worth it. That ended up being way more exciting than I thought. I feel like what we're gonna get next is the other side because weird stuff was going on in this episode and we didn't see everybody. There's a larger plan happening here. Also thematically, I think this episode, even though it was very action-based, it does a great job like picking up on sort of the questions and adding more. The running theme recently has been that the titans are not what they appear right like you have erwin's speech or erwin talking about the nature of the true enemy you have the fact that hanji's researching the titans to find out what they're all about and now you have another human seeming titan that looks a lot like mikasa so there's a lot happening that sort of pushes me in the direction of like the titans have a goal and a purpose that is getting at an actual enemy that we don't know yet or maybe it's just hidden in plain sight like we don't realize what what the true enemy is or we don't realize that there's a future mistake coming or something that launches this whole thing i feel like we're about to get answers soon in season four so i can't wait <laughs> so that's the end of episode 17 i'll see you guys next time for what I'm sure will be another adrenaline-fueled episode.